And welcome to the April 4th, 2011 edition of the Big Polly Channel video blog. I am Big Polly, Paul Blom in Pinellas Park, Florida. Uh, just wanted to do some little news and notes today. I don't have anything major to say. Um, the Rays, oh my goodness, they have gone off to a horrendous start as Baltimore, an up-and-coming team in Major League Baseball, just put the absolute boots to them over a three-game series, beating them 4-1, 3-1, and 5-1. The Rays, uh, I kind of feared this was going to happen. I, I thought there was a little bit too much hype and a little, uh, too, a little too little actual moves in the offseason that would help the club. Now, they uh, are having financial problems, as those of you who follow Major League Baseball know. They had to sell off... Uh, they traded to the Cubs. I don't know if they sold them off, but it was basically a fire sale. Uh, two of their great players, Matt Garza and uh, Mr. Pena, Carlos Pena, to the Chicago Cubs. Pena, depending on the weather at Wrigley Field, I, I imagine his production is not going to be what it was here at Tropicana Field. Uh, especially in the early going, you just have to wait for the... Uh, weather to get better and he should be hitting well. Uh, Garza was an excellent pickup for the Cubs. Uh, he will do well there, especially on the days when the wind is blowing in and it's a it's a pitcher's ballpark. So I expect great things from Mr. Garza with the Cubs. Cubs don't really have that much talent beyond those two players though, so I don't expect them to make any serious playoff moves. Um, but the Rays, my goodness, See, this is what you happen. What happens when you replace good hitters with older hitters like Johnny Damon and Manny Ramirez? The uh, Damon, I think, is 36. Uh, Ramirez is like 38, 39. And uh, when you replace good hitters with older hitters, the team goes. And not even a very good pitching staff that Tampa Bay has is able to save them. Uh, on the other news. We have the uh, National Championship basketball game tonight between Connecticut University and Butler out of Indianapolis. Butler was in this very position last year. They played Duke, and they came with uh, a half-court shot that nearly went in away from winning the National Championship. I think the whole nation is going to be rooting for Butler tonight. And uh, University of Connecticut, they have had uh, some National Championship teams in the past. They won at least two titles. Their women's team is by far uh, has been one of the best teams over the past 10, 15 years in, in uh, women's hoop. Although they lost to Notre Dame last night in their final four, setting up kind of like a cotton bowlish uh, women's national championship between Notre Dame and Texas A&M. Uh, notice the price of gas is now back up to four dollars an hour. Uh, the military experts are fearing that the Libyan situation is going to be a stalemate. Well, duh. That was kind of much given in the, in the beginning with, but we just couldn't leave them the well enough alone, could we? Uh, Barack Obama, our current sitting president of the United States, uh, announced on Twitter, or will be announcing uh, if he hasn't already, that he is running for re-election in 2012. Well, I did predict that he wouldn't run for re-election because the uh, country would be in a, in a bad way by the end of 2011, but... From what they tell us, the, the job rate is uh, improving a little bit, although Gallup is running their own little unemployment poll. And where our government has the official number at like 8.8%, the uh, Gallup poll has it at about 10 with 19% underemployed, so you tell me. Who's lying about the numbers here because one or the other is. Uh, what else was going on that I wanted to discuss? Well, I can't really think of anything right now. Um, a lot of people are thinking Hillary is going to give Obama a rematch in the Democratic primaries in 2012. Well, I think the uh, Obama people will <laughs> give her any deal she wants to make sure that does not happen. Because if you, if you have Hillary running against you in 2012 on the Democratic side, uh, you know, uh, what would stop her from bringing up the, the whole birther thing, which... Uh, let me just be clear. I think it's a dead hearing eventually. As I had said in previous posts, the Republicans were in on this too. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether his birth certificate was real or otherwise because, as I have said before, you have 50 states that all ratified that Obama was, in fact, uh, eligible to run 
And some of these people in these 50 states had to have been Republicans. So it's a moot point. They're all in on it if, if, if there was something nefarious going on. So move on. Donald Trump is talking about a presidential bid, uh, the Donald, and he has brought up the whole birth certificate thing. Again, a moot point. A moot point because the Republicans are in on it. They have to have been. Uh, he's bringing awareness to the birther issue. Why he is doing that, I do not know. But uh, he's always been someone, whether you like him or not, who has done his own thing in life. Uh, going back to when he really first took the public stage in the early 80s, of taking over the uh, New Jersey Generals of the United States Football League and using that to uh, try to get the USFL to compete with the NFL as uh, there was a good there was a good documentary about a year year and a half ago on ESPN called Small Potatoes who killed the USFL and it puts the blame of who killed the USFL squarely at the feet of Donald Trump which I think was fair if the USFL had stayed a spring league they would have lasted uh, they probably would still be in business now in 2011 it would be talking about the 29th season of the USFL on ABC or ESPN uh, or whatever network would have it by this point. I don't think it would have been a stretch to see spring football be just as big as the NFL. You wouldn't have arena football, which has been struggling as of late. So anyway, I have now rambled on here, according to my little uh, webcam software, for 6 minutes and 45 seconds, or just about. So that's about enough for now, and I shall catch you another time. Bye-bye for now.